Here, UN observers are on their way to Tremsey. On the day dozens of civilians were killed, the UN monitors were stopped from entering a few kilometres from the village by the Syrian army. On Saturday, they saw what was left after the killing stopped. The UN says the attack appeared to target the homes of army defectors and activists. They say houses were damaged, a school burned, and describe seeing pools of blood. Turkey says the Assad government is barbaric. Dear friends, yesterday we received sad news from Syria once again. Raving murderers of Assad's barbaric regime attacked the Hama suburb of Tremsi with heavy weapons. According to information we've received, some 270 innocent people, most of them women and children, lost their lives in this inhuman attack. We're hearing that our Syrian brethren are being murdered. They're being executed and getting their throats slashed. There's nothing more to say to Syria. These despicable massacres, these genocide attempts, this inhuman violence is nothing but the footsteps of a regime that is on its way out. Syrian state TV says these are weapons seized during the fighting in Tremse and their troops were trying to protect civilians. The UN and the United States are calling for action but no one can agree on what type. Reports of a massacre at Tremse in Syria yesterday are yet another horrific reminder of the urgent need for the international community to act decisively. The UN says there's now a ceasefire in Tremse, and its monitors will be back in the village on Sunday as well. Their mission was suspended last month. Since then, they've mainly been visiting hospitals and schools in Damascus. But with or without the observers... The fighting is relentless and the slaughter goes on. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera.